Hey y'all, this is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead. Uh, just thought I'd share with you some stuff that I'm going to do today. Um, I didn't get much done in here yesterday. Uh, I was at David's in the morning helping him with his, getting his uh, gutters put up. And then I went over to the church and worked in our pantry. And uh, so... And then I watched the kids after that. So I didn't get home till really late last night. I had dinner with my mom. Um, so it was a very busy day yesterday. But uh, I just wanted to share with you a few things that I'm going to do today. Hey, y'all. This is like, uh, duh, Kathy. You're supposed to be recording this. Um, my quails... Um, they needed their, underneath, they're cleaned out, and, um, that's what I'm doing right now. Some people only clean them out, um, you know, once a year, annually, or sometimes they do it, uh, about six months. I do it every couple months, and, um, <clears throat> all the droppings I put into my garden, or I put into my uh, compost bin. Today I just dumped it in the garden. There's a lot of um, worms and stuff in there uh, that the chickens will want to eat. So I um, I did that. And right now I'm scrubbing off the the underneath here really good, I'm trying to get all the uh, bird food and and uh, manure so that I could put it in the garden. And it gives me a chance to uh, clean back in the back here where the waterers are and kind of flush them out really good because uh, Goldie, this is her little homemade uh, chicken pen that I keep her in at night so that nobody hurts her. And um, so I get a chicken coop made. She likes it. So, um, she's made a mess down there and I've got to get all that cleaned out. So, I just wanted to show you, I, did, I thought of it too late in the process, but, uh, um, now underneath the, the pen, I do not, uh, do anything with that until it piles up really good and then I rake that out and, uh, put it in the compost bin. And I might do that this time too. We'll see. I don't know. Depends on how how much energy I have. This is a pretty big job. <clears throat> okay. So this is about as good as it gets today. And I got Goldie's little bed set up. And uh, all the little waterers cleaned out. So when I bring her in from the garden, this is where she's going. Okay, so, another one of my dirty jobs. I've got to go down here and uh, pull all the hay out of that and harvest the uh, uh, rabbit manure. And I'm going to soak that today and put it in, um, I'm going to dilute it down so that it can uh, feed the plants that I'm growing. So, and today is mating day because uh, I guess it was too hot um, the last time I mated them whenever I got them. And, um, well, you know how that is. So, but I wanted to show you uh, uh, my buck that I got in, in, uh, in um, Virginia, Bugsy. He is so dirty. I don't know why he's so dirty. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna give him a bath or what, but he just awfully yellow. And I don't know if, uh, and this is his girlfriend. 
I don't know if he might be peeing on him or something. I don't know. But any suggestions about that? Yes. Yes, baby. Mama loves you. Anyways, so I got a lot more work to do. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm taking a little break and looking around at things and oh, such beauty. My uh, white angel trumpet is in bloom. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. That one doesn't smell as much as the uh, the coral one up there. The pink, whatever you want to call it. Do I get it in the picture? Yep. See how pretty that one is? And this is pink. This is all coming over from the other one. It's trying to drown this one out. I'm going to have to cut it back. And, uh, when I do that, I'm going to make some starts so that I can possibly sell a few. Anyways, we'll see. That's for another day. But, uh, see it's getting up close to the lines too. And I don't want it up there. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm a little out of breath here, but... I got all the uh, hay that was underneath there that I cared to get. There's still a little bit under there, but it doesn't matter. It'll decay there or decay here. It doesn't matter to me. Somehow it ended up in here anyways. So, uh, my little ever bit of rabbit manure is left in there. It can stay in there because I'm not a hands-on poop person. I'm not going to go through and get every little pellet out so and uh, this will end up going in the garden once it's composted down anyways so I thought about putting it in the garden the other day but I have to have somebody help me nice looking tomatoes Come on. they're getting bigger and bigger every day and I'm seeing more and more every day there now. Really nice though. So, am I getting that on? There we go. These are looking really super nice. Okay, I got another sweet little surprise. I got some more miracle fruit coming on. Yay! See you now. Okay, another little thing I did was rearrange the lights for the quail. These are solar lights that David bought me. Um, they don't help them to lay, but it does help me to uh, keep an eye on them. Whenever I hear them moving around at nighttime, I can go out here and see what's going on. So, they're pretty cool. These are all my little babies. You would think she was a male the way she's standing up like that. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I got some vines cut. And I'm working on some grass. Got all the uh, manure business done. We'll see what else I can get into. The chickens are having fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you again here next time on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.